They got a kick out of me in Italy. Oh, yeah. I speak a little Italian. I can say, feed me, I'm hungry. It's sono affamato. I can say it in 27 languages. I can write it in hieroglyphics if I have to. If I go back in a time machine, I want to be covered. And we went to this little mom and pop restaurant. The waiter's name was Luigi, he was also the owner. In Italy, there's no such thing as an all-you-can-eat buffet. That's just the way it is. And I said, Luigi, sono affamato. Hey, look at you, eh? He's a sono affamato, sono affamato. Giuseppe, come in here. Say it, say it to Giuseppe. Say, say it. Sono affamato. Look at you, eh? You son of a bitch. And I said, I'm dying of hunger. It's morta de fame. Morta de fame. We're gonna feed you. You're gonna explore all over the wall. I said, could we order? He said, no. First, we're gonna bring out some food. And that's when I heard the angels. Oh. I thought he was going to bring out like an antipasto. He brought out antipasto, fried calamari, potato and gnocchi, pollo vodostano, eggplant milanese. And he says, now we come, we take your order. You're not scaring me. They brought out food for hours. We were fighting amongst ourselves. Stop ordering this enough. I didn't order this. I didn't order this either. They're just bringing out stuff. Let's get out of here. We had a friend with us, Timmy. He was too skinny. We should have known. He shouldn't have come. Halfway through the meal, he died. And they kept on trying to feed him. They were smacking him. What's the matter? You didn't like it? He's dead. Pass that over here. eat when I'm sad. The, the third hour, you know when you're full, you unbuckle your pants